Then you add your blessings to it. How many of you are gone, by the way? 
Ah, that's why people are chewing granite, eh? It's just like saying, so let's see, Afi Shapa. That one, there, see how all of you are making noise about it. Anyway, put your hands together one more time and have a seat. Hello, Kwampa. How are you doing? We're good. Thank you for that very nationalistic introduction. And yes, we're celebrating Ghana Month. We'll be hearing some more music. And guess what? We have a legend in the house with us. This is the day show, the Ghana Month edition. And all through this month, we're displaying our beautiful culture through music, food, dance, language, and so much more. Kwampa is here. Our legend is here. My name is Bella Mundi. But you can call me Ifua Latele Koko Adade for this month and for the rest of the year. Well, a big thank you to all our sponsors for making our show a possibility. And by the way, do you like the slippers I'm wearing? Yeah. Well, JJ Professional Shoes made this for me. JJ, thank you so much. I love this. And also, big shout out to my designer for today. I'll give you all those details. But this is the day show. We'll come back with our BU question of the day. And of course, we'll get to speak to, in fact, they're legends as well, are they not? You've, have you watched them play outside the studio? What do you make of them? You love them? Yeah. One more time, put your hands together for Kwampa. Yeah. Well, we'll be right back. Thank you for joining us. And you can also choose to answer our questions via social media. We're streaming live on Facebook at TV3 Ghana. But remember, the hashtag is The Day Show. We'll be right back. Ghana, we now have freedom. This is the day show, and it's our Ghana Month edition. And I love that my audience is also clad in, you know, traditional outfits, traditional prints. This is beautiful. Well done. Well done. Anyway, so it's time for our BU question of the day. Usually you would ask me a question, but guess what? We're turning things around. I'm going to ask you a question. Is that okay? So first one that I want to ask you today, do you think that looking at our level of development, Ghana should have probably gotten its independence much later than 1957? Who wants to answer this question for us? Don't worry, we're not judging. We're just having a conversation. And viewers, if you're watching as well, we want to hear from you. So please send your answers to us. The hashtag is The Day Show. Who wants to speak first? There you are. And please put your hands together for her. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Regina. Regina. All right. So you have an answer for my question? Please give me an answer. OK, so I think yes. We should have gotten our independence much later. Why yeah. do you say that? Because. Uh, it will bring development okay. into the country ah. and a lot of improvement also. But, but did you ever have time to read about slave trade and I you know, did. the effect it had on us? Yes. And you still think that we should have been under, you know, yes, the white Yes, somehow people? I think. You think so? Yes, that's from my it's perspective. It's because you didn't experience it. If you were there, would you have said, please hold on with independence, I let's enjoy I think my, my grand, grand, great, great, great grandparents yeah. could be part, but... Uh -huh. Looking at what is happening now, I think. What's happening now? What's going on? Don't mind me. I like follow up questions. So, what's happening now? Or oh, I should let someone answer that one yes. for you. Okay, the pressure is too much. Who wants to speak as well? Okay. Oh, there you are. Well, you wanted to speak. So, you speak and then I'll let him speak. I think, um, in, as, in as much as we needed our independence because of the slave trade, um, the, the infrastructure and the development, the colonial. Um, rulers we are bringing yeah. were very good. So if the if we had gained our independence a bit later, I think the infrastructure would have been higher than it is now. Ah. And even after the independence, our leaders could have continued. But then it's not as much as it would have been if we were still under the colonial rulers. I see. Interesting. What about you? Okay. So for me, I think whether um, later or earlier, um, it wouldn't make any change. Because we have countries who had years um, earlier, we had countries who had years later, but yet development is there or not. Well, but what well, the what we should have rather done was um, operate um, the South African system, where they allowed the whites to help them develop by allowing them to stay with them for some time, mm -hmm. and even currently they are still there with them. So maybe that would have been the better way to go about it, rather than. Um, waiting or having it earlier. I see. So sacking the white completely, I wasn't okay. really in agreement with it. Did we sack them or we just fought for our freedom and told them it's okay? Oh, we, we sacked them. them. <laughs> we sacked them. Yes. After well, fighting the freedom, we I still sacked them to go. 
because they were helping with development. Okay, you talk yes. about South Africa. Have you paid attention to apartheid and how that has also impacted them? Well, but I but think... But so, you think? Yes. Okay, well, it's fine. Thank you so much. Please put your hands together for all those who spoke. And for you out there as well, we really want to put this question to you. Do you think that looking at our slow pace of development in Ghana, we should have waited a bit before fighting for independence? And so maybe instead of 1957, we should have waited for what? 1972. 1990. Hey! Like, will we be here? Anyway, we want to hear from you, so please send your um, opinions or comments in. The hashtag is the day show. Well, Krampa is here. We'll be getting to speak to them shortly. And like I keep saying, have you heard? Who sang it? Hey, Yehoa. One and all. Well, don't worry. In case you have forgotten, we'll help you remember. But this is one of my all-time favorite artists. And that song is one of my favorite ever here in Ghana. And Manziba will be joining us as well. Keep watching. This is the day show. For you, it is all for you. the leader of Krampa, Andrew in Kansa. Please join us here, Andrew. Good to see you. 
Do you need some help? So Andrew and Kansa Asa. Yes. Okay. And he is the leader and founder of Kwampa. Thank Have you. a seat. Mm -hmm. Your kente is shining. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm great, Bella. Happy Ghana month to you. Thank you. Happy, happy Ghana month to you as well. Thank you very much. Mm. How are you feeling? I mean, every time it's Ghana month, the spotlight is on you and your team. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's true. Because for us, every day is Ghana, Ghana yeah. day. Mm -hmm. And of course, every month is Ghana month. Um, and that's exactly what we try to do. The kind of music we do is palm oil music. Mm -hmm. And it is one of those very early music traditions that existed before high life. Yeah. It's actually part of those very major music traditions that influenced the creation of high life mm -hmm. in the late 20th century. Mm. And so, yes, palm oil music. And so every day, Ghana. We celebrate Ghana. But how did you get this, um, you know, influence mm. to, to set up a band like mm. this to play the old mm. songs? Because for a lot of people, they say, well, by you young man, yeah. there's Afrobeats, <laughs> there's other genres of music that exactly, you could explore. Exactly. But you decided to do what some people might exactly. describe as Oluman music. Exactly. Yes. What people do not realize or do not know is that this band started as a palm wine band right from the beginning in okay. 2017. So mm. it wasn't like we formed the band and we're now looking for what to do. Mm -hmm. Right from the beginning, we decided to do palm wine music. Okay. And we uh -huh. modeled this band after, after Jack Winimo's oh. band. Um, his band is the Adadem Agofoma. Adadem? They, yes, Adadem Agofoma. Okay. And they do palm wine music, old time palm wine I, music. I'm trying to get, Adadem yeah, means old. Yes. Agofoma is what I'm trying to understand. Agofoma, performers. Oh, Agofoma. so old performers. Exactly, more or like performers of the old. Performers of the old, kind ah. of. <laughs> oh, nice. So it's Eja Konimu and the Adadem Agofoma. Okay. Uh, that is the band. And they do palm wine music. Mm -hmm. And they go to a time in our history, as far as music is concerned, where they were more like the only people who sustained this music tradition for a very long time. The very first palm wine band was in 1928. We call them the Kumasi Trio. Okay. They recorded the Yamponsa, the very popular ah. Yamponsa. Uh -huh. mm. And be, af after that, there have been quite a number of palm wine bands, but there was kind of a break mm. where at that point it was only a Jack Unimu and his band that kind of sustained this music tradition. Yeah. And we, of course, we have people like Jose Crunchy. He mm -hmm. plays the Sipriwa, the harp lute. And um, we decided to come on board. At mm -hmm. the time it was, Jack Winimo and his people, and then the Legon Palm Wine Band. Okay. But they were more on campus, University of Ghana campus. Mm -hmm. And then we decided to join and also help in sustaining the music tradition. And here you are today. And here we are, seven yeah. years on. Exactly. And beyond just doing the Adadam mm. Mm. kind of music, yes. I know that you've also released renditions of your yes. own. Yes. Tell us about you. You had an EP in 2021? Uh, 2022. We are in 2022. 2022 is yes. when your EP came out. When is the next one? Yes. This year. So this year, we're actually working on. A 12 track album. Oh, wow. 12 songs. Wow. <laughs> are, these, are these going to be renditions of old songs or your. No, okay. so they are our own compositions. Okay. Um, all 12 of them. Nice. And the fantastic thing about what we released earlier, we, th that one was a six track EP, mm -hmm. so it was made up of six songs. Mm -hmm. Instead of re um, making music videos for each of them, we decided to put together a movie for the six songs. And so. Um, this year, we are working on that. It's at the editing bench, okay. almost done. Mm -hmm. I'll say 98% complete, 2% just mm -hmm. doing a few things. Nice. And this year, but we did not decide to do it by ourselves. Uh -huh. We decided to go all out professionally. And so we worked with some veteran actors. We worked oh, with nice. some, yes. But that question that I asked my audience, mm -hmm. I'd like to hear from you as well. Where do you stand on that? Should Ghana have gained its independence much later? See, I, I, I think it depends on whether it had come earlier or later, mm. it still depends on what we are doing now with mm. our independence, mm. what we are doing with it now. Are we making it relevant today to everyone, the young, the old? Are we making the independence relevant? And are we indeed independent in all as For instance, um, a few days back, I was talking to somebody and I said, be infancy. And I said, ah, be infancy. You are too local. Mm. In fence, in fence is window. Ah, okay. <laughs> so I said, okay, be in fence, you know. And he said, ah, so I, can't I say be a window, no? Ah, uh, yeah. And so in my mind, I was thinking about some of these things. I'm thinking that uh, we may have to be liberated again mm. as far as aspects of our culture are concerned. Mm. Our language, proverbs, storytelling, some of these areas, I feel we must 
re-emancipate ourselves yes, in, in, in from those, mental slavery. From mental slavery. We're still not free from that, uh, are we? Kind of. Mm. Kind of. I am thinking we we are we love to borrow and we love to enjoy what people other people are doing. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's not bad, but I'm just thinking if we could also not throw away what we have, yeah. but we could add on. That would be better. Exactly. Mm. So we don't lose some of these. Brands. Very well said. But before you go, give us details about your band. If sure. anybody wants to hire mm. you for an okay. event. Yeah. Okay. So Kwampa on all the social media platforms, Kwampa GH. Okay. Kwampa GH. Kwampa is K-W-A-N-P-A-G-H. So right. K-W-A-N-P-A-G-H. Kwampa mm. GH on all the major social media platforms, including the website, www.kwanpagh.com. Yeah. Um, phone number 0243-235-435. We have just one phone number for okay. everything. 0243-235-435. Who yes. answers the call, you or any of your members? It comes to me. Okay. Please introduce. <laughs> is, this, is this the only... Yes. So there are okay. four of us in the band. Oh, just four? Yes, there are four of us. Okay. Of course, as far as management is concerned, we also have a road manager. We have ah. a technical team behind the band. But yeah. for the performers, it's only the four of us. L let's do something creative. So as you introduce them, they okay. play the instruments. Oh, good. Maybe you can then tell I, us which instrument it sure, is. Sure, exactly. Okay. So let's start from the extreme right. Uh -huh. We have Kwabna Safo. Kwabna Safo. Yes. And he does, he does the gome. That is the gome. frame drum. Uh, gome. gome. Okay. So listen, right. listen to the sound of the gome. That's the bass. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, oh, is that all? I think I'm going to get up and dance. So. Because okay. after the gun people, yeah, this is one of our major instruments, right? You, so it, you it, see, it, we, we don't do any bass instrument like the bass guitar, the cello, ah, or the. So this, this is, is what gives you the bass. Yes, that's our bass. Oh, one that's more time. Okay, and then who's the next? And then right next, mm -hmm. um, we have Nana Yao and T. Nana Yao. So he does auxiliary percussions, the, the bell, the uta, and then. Uta? The, Deuta. Deuta. Yes. De okay. Uta. Deuta is what he's holding the. No, the calabash. Deuta de is the bell. Oh, the bell rather. Yes, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. and then around the neck is the rattle, also called entwa. Entwa. Yes. Mm, like in other parts of Africa, they say shikiri, but in Ghana, yeah. in Chi, we call that entwa. En That's the rattle. Yes. So which one are you going to play for us? Both of them. <laughs> Let's see how. Okay. Hey. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> nice. Good. All right, and, and then, then uh, right um, beside him we have Kwame Agbaho Asiminamo. Hey, yes, exactly. Hello, the say. name, the name. Efo, Aha. Efo, me dudua, I dudua, I go dudua. So okay. yeah, he's from the Volta region. So he does the Kwalogo drums, the percussion. Okay, okay, yes. okay. Efo, me mm -hmm. play something for us. <laughs> Efo is even laughing. <laughs> Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey. Uh -huh. Okay. That is Palugo. And then you play? <laughs> I do the guitars, okay. acoustic guitar. That's the classical guitar. But this is made in Ghana, this oh, one. Okay. By Image Guitars. They are nice. in Tama. So this is Ghana made. Beautiful. Yes. What is guitar called in the local language? Do we have a name for it? Ahumensia. Ahumensia. I am a baby. So I'll let you go back there. Maybe sure. you do your last song for okay. us. Okay. And then we'll be welcoming the legend Amanziba Natsipu to join us shortly. And so one more time for Krampa. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Ghana man. And um, today I'm going to be a new free of Brimpong. Be hoku ni biho a watro na eno ni epesi ye. If you say, yeah, we're going to bust some mu. And um, today I'm going to be a new free of Brimpong. Be hoku ni biho a watro na eno ni epesi ye. Yangara Yasasini. Let's do this. Let's stand and do this. All right. Yangara Yasasini. Hey, I'm what in the way. Bojana, I don't see good at the two of my head. Sempre 
Gunnerman. When we get back, our legend joins us. Don't go anywhere. This is The Day Show. Welcome back. It's the Ghana Month edition of the Day Show. And all through the month of March, well, you can call me Coco Latile Adade. And of course, let me know what your local name is. In fact, do send that comment as you're watching us live on TV3, on our Facebook page at TV3 Ghana. The hashtag is the Day Show. At this point, we're going to invite a man that is revered by all. His music is loved globally. And of course, he sings songs that touches the very core of our essence of nationality and that is why we're speaking to him especially as we celebrate Ghana month. I don't know which of his songs you know whether it's Odo, whether it's Palogo, Yede, Papa or Wogbejeke. Which one is your favorite by the way? Palogo. So should we start with that? Yeah. Well let's play that song as we welcome the legend Amandiba Nats Brew. Palogo, yeah, yeah. Hey get up get up get up. Palogo, yeah, yeah, papa. Mandiba. Hi. It's so good to have you. Do you need some help with that? Or very, you're very, very good to, okay. to have you All right. interview me. I'm honored to have you on the show. Um, is that an honor? Respect, love? It's everything. Admiration. It's everything in between. And like I said, I always make noise about work by JK. There's just something Ooh. so spiritual about that song that touches my heart. And for that reason, I've loved you for so long. And then there's Odo, there's Kwan Logo. I mean, it's endless. But just the opportunity to see you and celebrate you in the month of March, that's even greater for me. So welcome. First of all, let me say hello to my Indeed. fellow musicians. In fact, I was listening to them and I was really enjoying it. This is organic music. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, I thought at one time I fell out of love with you. So me? people were... Casting all sorts of insinuations. I think um, it must have been, was it the VGMA? Okay. That you introduced me as a, as a board member. And I politely, oh, politely corrected. Everybody was on me. Why did you do that to Bella? Oh, Why I, did you I, do I that to Bella? Take offense. Everybody. To, to be honest, I've even forgotten about it. It means everybody loves you. I guess. And they love you as well. So they were <laughs> hoping that we could connect even better. But it doesn't matter. I mean, I honestly had forgotten about that. I haven't forgotten about oh, you it haven't? because there's somebody who keeps rubbing it in my face. Oh. And apparently, the person is really, really, really in love with you without you knowing. Oh. Well, thank you to that person. Good to have you in the studio. Have you been? Good to have you too. Um, I think that um, I've just been like the economy of Ghana. That's, that's, I mean, hey, are you going to run away from it because everybody's feeling the pinches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, we really do not have to be political about our economic situation. We'll have to be very realistic. Because mm. of course, a country like Ghana, with our independence, mm -hmm. with all the resources, and yet some people are hungry. Mm -hmm. Can you just imagine, this little country is second to, you know, the, 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 the global, uh, uh, what, what we call the gold producer, the mm -hmm. largest gold now producer. Now we are number one. We've taken over. So yeah. what is it that is wrong with us? Probably the, 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 the very top is what reflects 
for what we are on the ground. Which is governors. Thank you very much. So I, I don't care who ever is in the driving seat. If you get into the seat, you have to work. Mm. Ghana is a country that should be paying uh, unemployment benefits to people. Mm. You have gold, you have diamond, you have oil, you have bauxite, bauxite. you have aluminum, you mm -hmm. have manganese. You even have lithium. Yeah. On top of it all, you have oil. So what's, a, what's your excuse? What do you think the problem is? The problem is that, um, first of all, I think um, complacency is one. Mm. Because you've got everything. The sun is shining. You're just wearing nothing, almost next to nothing. No cold biting you and stuff like that. So I believe that what is really wrong with us is the psyche, the national psyche that has to be worked on. Mm. You see, if I put you that I have to demand what is due me, the gold and everything, everything that is underneath the ground is for you, 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 and everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So why must it be the preserve? Why must it be the preserve of a certain group of people to have it all? Mm. And a certain of, of, a group of people don't have it at all. Yeah. So, I mean, it is about time that we woke up and we start speaking to authority. Otherwise, every day they will come as the servants, they will serve us whilst they are trying to get up there. Mm. And when they get up there, they become the masters and we become the servants. It is important that we face them. We're not going to disrespect anybody by demanding what is due you. Well, if, if you describe maybe the Jubilee House as Jubilee House, there are many who have described that as disrespectful. And that if you want to speak to leaders, you should still speak to them in a respectful manner. I, I, I for one, would not want to insult somebody because I'm arguing or I don't agree with the person. No, mm. that is not my style. But for so many people, that's their style. Was it wrong to refer to the seat of government as Julobi House? No, I, I think that um, they wanted to put it a certain way. And they came out with something as blunt as that. Mm. But hey, would you fault anybody who gets very angry and wants to de demand his share? They say, fix yourself. Let's demand. Let's ask them. Otherwise, we'll remain uneducated until we die. But another aspect. Now, when you talk, then they say that you've probably been paid by one other um, side, you know, one other device, so whether it's opposition or whatever. There's always that perception that is created. And for you in particular, I'm, I won't be surprised if you've been tagged as NDC <sighs> a number of times because you've done a song, in, you know, in collaboration with the former president, John Dramani Mahama, before. So I'm sure that when you say some of these things, someone's probably sitting there somewhere and say, don't mind him. He's more NDC than anything, which is why he's criticizing the current government. Um, I can't run away from nature. Mm -hmm. If I'm familiar with you and I'm not familiar with him, who would I gravitate towards? Mm. It will be the one that I'm familiar with. JM is my friend, he's my brother. Mm. I, I didn't know the current president because we've known ourselves, each other, at and a distance. distance. Mm. But JM can come to me, we go to Choco, mm. go and visit APC. Okay. Keep, you know, this is the kind of, I mean, if I have somebody who is actually uh, 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 endowed with that character, for me, I like everybody. Mm -hmm. I know not everybody likes me, but I like everybody. But the point is that the man, the man is made it's made up like us. Mm -hmm. he, he can pick a call and call you and say, um, what is happening, this and that. I mean, he wants to know what is happening. And so if I have that rapport with somebody like that, naturally, I will really, and I, I know his orientation too. Mm -hmm. He's not just a politician. Mm -hmm. That man is a humanitarian. Mm -hmm. You understand? So. For me, I don't really care if you will tag me. If you tag me, look, if uh, uh, the, the, the current political dispensation is anything to go by, everybody is supposed to be, be a little bit comfortable. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you there are, there are times that you can even witness people who are traveling to the extreme end of poverty and hunger. Mm. What if, if indeed you are a father 
you're a mother, you definitely want the hungry bellies to be filled. Yeah. And so if I have a friend who is really cast in that mode, who is a humanitarian, who is, I mean, obviously, I would you definitely lean more So tag me if you want. But, but in that case, if another party wants to pay you to do a song for them, for their campaign, would you do it? Does it really matter what their ideologies may be? Well, every politician steps out to say that they are for the good of the people, aren't they? Yeah. So if you want me to do a song for you, I will really have to appraise the content. If okay. you want me to do it outright, then I'm going to do it my way. Okay. Because I'm actually not going to preach on partisan lines. Mm. I'm going to preach on national lines, where I believe that what you're bringing me, what you want me to do for you will contribute to the upliftment of the entire population. Mm. But if it's just like coming to sing, uh, let's say my symbol is a mouse, and a uh, yekra, a yekra, a yekra, if I say a yekra, what, what does it mean? Mm. You understand? I want you to bring me something that will at least, you know, there's food for the body, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. there's food for the soul. Mm -hmm. The food for the body, one pesi ebi, fufu obini, you know. Okay. <laughs> then, 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 then there's food for the soul, and mm. the food for the soul is music. Yeah. If you want to eat balanced diet, for you to gain the right nutrients, you have to listen to balanced music too as well, mm. and which is our 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 own way of bringing out music, you understand? So, as for the politicians, just you leave, just them, on leave the them. Just leave them, Bella. Leave them, because you see, um, I think that greed is what blinds a person. That really, what all of us will have to take bits and pieces off, you want to take it all. Mm. It's greed. So that if I really think that you need something and I have loads of it, for instance, if you are the richest man in this area, you think you will have peace, I will come from Kotobabi, Nima, they will come to your house. Mm -hmm. Those who are coming to Bago and those who are genuinely coming to ask you for food. Yeah. So why is it that if you're a politician, you don't first look for the welfare of the people? After all, what do we need? Schools, clinic, hospitals, and, mm. and, and what else? Employment. And, the food and, and, and employment. Is yeah. that not what we want? Yeah. Have we asked you to give us skyscrapers? We want, even if it is my touch roof house, my mud house, mm. and I, I have my TV, I have my fridge, I have everything in it. Why would I come and bother about you stealing millions? You steal. I mean, in the end of the, at the end of the day, I mean, the law will deal with you. come and <laughs> the law. The law sleeps sometimes, mm. and God goes on leave. So karma comes in. Mm, of course. Don't just sit. Demand. And when we sing, they say we are singing. Look, for, for instance, mm -hmm. yeah. is used by almost all the political parties. Mm -hmm. It's a two-way, two-edged sword, right? Get uba. You've killed us. For, for those who don't understand the gun that you just spoke, can yeah. you translate? That? You, trans, you, okay. you did the translation. <laughs> I was hoping that you'd do it. <laughs> so, so he's basically saying that, so if you tell us you're coming to wipe the tears and sweat off our face, and you wipe away our glory, then you have killed us completely. Totally. And, and that's why I love that song, Walk by Jack. This, came, this, came this out is a gospel. It's a gospel song? Uh, 2000. It's a gospel song. Though. Walk by Jack is a you gospel want, song. You want me to, you know, uh, 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 give you exposition? Let me Yes, tell please you. do. Just where the, 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 the portion that you heard says, Keje, Jinjinsa, Nyongmo, Bowo. Mm-hmm. From, from the from time, the beginning, mm -hmm. God, God created, created us. us. So if I sing as long as I say God created us, is it not a gospel? Is it not the truth I'm saying? The gospel is supposed to be about the truth. 
And I didn't say that Kaja Jenjin Sabon Sambo. In Kaja Jenjin Sabon Sambo. It was a gospel song. It was an equal win gospel song of the year. Well, it, 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 it depends on it depends on some of the uh, uh, <laughs> do, that, do that some of you recognize this as a gospel song? N no, they wouldn't because you see, if Okonfuanochi was a white man, mm -hmm. he would have been in the Bible by now. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. What did he do? He conjured the stool from yeah, the heavens. From the skies, yeah. Why didn't he go to, let's say, some shrine in the corner and pull the stool out? He conjured it from everything. It tells you how powerful we have been. And nativity, our culture, our tradition, have all of these aspects of spirituality in them. Mm. But you see, Obashi, you know, you leave yours. Because this is the black part, oh, it's evil. Mm. Mm. You understand? They say, we have for me, Alon Tedinko. Alon Tedinko. Meanwhile, before God created the earth, put off these lights and you see what I mean. There was darkness. There was total darkness. So out of that darkness came that creativity for him to say that, command that let there be light. Mm. Are we losing that aspect of our industry where now it seems as if the songs are more about, I'm in love with this person or that person is about the body of a woman instead of speaking about the nationalistic issues? You see, we have always, from the time that our great grandfathers were singing at that time, they were glorifying women. Let's say, a rabbit official, this, that, all the songs that they made. I'm a bon soy. Mm. You know, they are singing about you. But the preference right now is because we have to commercialize every aspect of our lives. If I want to release an album, yeah, Charlie, I have to see, get some woman where they look like Bella or mm. they look like mm. you with your tissues and everything. That's what I'm singing about. Look, if you have nothing to say, you shut up. So the artists, if they have nothing important to think about, they should keep quiet? Millions, yes. But, but you see that legends like you, the older ones, and many people are saying that we expect the older ones to speak up more and to sort of have these younger ones in their fold so that they can direct them a lot more. But we don't seem to see you speak up as much about some of the songs that we have in the system, which is why we're being plagued with those kind of songs. We don't come out openly to talk about ourselves. But, why? you know, the reason... It's because you are journalists. You are supposed to be on our necks. You are supposed to be analyzing our lyrics. Mm -hmm. um, I think years back, there, there, there was a column in the Mirror or Spectator. It published lyrics of artists. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So if you're sitting here, you talk about entertainment, you talk about it, take it upon yourself and say that, look, let me pause a while. Let me listen to what this guy has said in his music. Everybody could be dancing to it and stuff like that. But you see, there has to be that moral. So we are not angels. Mm. We are all, you know. Of but course. all I'm saying is that you don't moralize in terms of when you, you are saying the thing and you're not complaining. It means that you're going along with it. For me, when I come outside and I'm singing, I know what to sing about. Yes, love. Yes, we all sing about love songs. But if I have to sing... A love song, I have to sing about an African, a Ghanaian, you know, that's what thrills me. Yeah. I traveled to um, um, Somenia to buy some bees. Okay. We went to uh, uh, the lagoon side mm -hmm. and sat there. There was this beautiful native girl carrying a pot from, you know, wherever mm -hmm. she was. So we stopped there. We were about four. We stopped there and I asked her name and she said, Didi. Ah. I was writing a love song, uh -huh. but what name to fit there? No, I didn't have it. So I left Accra all the way to so uh, so to get to the, <laughs> when there are so many days exactly. around, you understand? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, all of these things, all of these encounters are, 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 are avenues for inspiration. 
What's your favorite song ever? Your own song, which is your favorite? My own song. Yeah. Charlie, don't put me. Oh, we want to know. So that maybe you and Kwampa can do a collaboration <laughs> oh, on the set Kwampa, now. That's for Kwampa, dear. Kwampa, um, just give me an F. Hey, give me an F and that's it. I'm trying to figure out what an F is. <laughs> Stop loving you. Your world, I'll forever live in. Your word, I'll forever believe in. Your hand will never make me go wrong. You have all that I want, I'm a you got all that I need, Mama. You are all I desire, Mama. 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 I think this is one of my favorite songs. I will say one. One of them. Because it was my first album, mm -hmm. and it was a smash hit. So this was on the Work by Jackie album or no, before that? No, this was in 1990. 1990, okay. Yeah. Okay. So after that came um, um, uh, 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 Not This Love, then Work Bear, then The Rest then the Followed. Rest. Mm. But I don't think that I should be, I, I would be able to pinpoint. A particular one. Yes. It is, a, it is something that has been given to us. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So, but, but hey, let's talk another time. Yes, because about this, that. Collaborate. I mean, we, this but is you will sing, go. Yes, I'll sing. Which one do you want me to Have sing? you forgotten? I, I, I actually sang with most of the presenters in TV3. Hey. So it's one Ghana. Tennis. If you know that yes, song, yes, one, yes, Ghana, yes, one Ghana, I used only a, 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 a journalist, yeah. entertainment journalist. Mm. Because you see, sometimes when people speak, I can hear that you have a quality in your so voice. So I have, I have a, a You sing. have a quality in your voice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when is our collaboration happening? As soon as you get off the stage. I quit. <laughs> Let's go make music. Let's set. go. All right. I know you want to perform some of your other songs, but this is a special request. We must do work with Jekyll on the platform. Oh, hey, <laughs> Charlie. I want to hear you. Okay. What is your game? 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 So, so Timbuktu, Ghana, Mali, Sumanguru, you know what you're showing. Obey your game, what you're showing. Our man, woman, Atama tame, mi jatama tame, mi taji mi lebe na wami ya kusenyo. So so chimbuktu, gana mali, sumanguru you know what you're showing. Manje taki you know sumanguru you know what we're getting, what we're getting, what you're showing. Ose tutu you know, wama sa you know. Yes, and to you know what they're showing. Get your ears out of my head, get your ears out of my head. I've got a bunch of more way here. I'll forget that. I'll get you more way here. I'll be young. Thank you so much.
so thank much. You. Thank you. It's been thank a you. pleasure. Thank, thank you, you, sir. Thank hey, you. Man, it's thank been, you. I, I have cleared my thoughts all because oh. all the time there was this thing lingering no. behind my mind that, hey, Bella, no, 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 finish no. with me. Or. No. Everything that happened on that stage ended there. I, I mean, I never take anything away. So oh, man. To be very honest, I didn't hold anything That is That is a mark of a pro. Hey. Yeah, okay. man. Yeah, Learning from you. Thank no, you. No, 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 because people <laughs> love to bicker. Yeah. Now, every time I feel beef, I've got a beef with it. Meanwhile, beef and chocolate for a woman. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Manzibar Can Nuts I, Brew. Oh, and the name of Manzibar means what? Child of. Is, tradition. well, uh, literally a child yes. of tradition. Tradition, yes. But it means that a native son. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, so native really, son. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, Kwampa, as well. We enjoyed having you. And yes, we're celebrating Ghana Month, so expect more of such very important conversations and, of course, a display of culture and tradition right here on The Day Show. Until then, it's been a pleasure having you guys. DJ Filter, tell you other guy. Thank you so much, Kels, for my outfit and also to JJ Professional Shoes for my lovely slippers. Made in Ghana proudly. Thank you. We'll see you again next made week. Made in Ghana proudly. Everything you're wearing, actually. Exactly. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Oh, well, your shoes are made in Ghana. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Well, on that note, enjoy the rest of the afternoon. We'll see you next week. Bye.